Hi, in this lesson we will see about minimum window substring problem. This is the lead code problem, the link of which I gave in the description. Now we will see the problem statement. Given a string S and string T, find the minimum window in string S which will contains all the characters of string T in the time complexity of order of n. For example, let's take the string S A, B, B, A, A, C, D, B, C, A, B and the T is A, B, C. We need to find the minimum substring which will contain all the characters of T in the substring S. In the string S, the substrings which contain all the characters in T are B, A, A, C, the length is 4, A, C, D, B, the length is 4, B, C, A, the length is 3, C, A, B, the length is 3. In this, the minimum window substring which contains all the characters of the string T are B C A R C A B. This problem can be easily solved using the brute force solution with order of n square time complexity. In this problem, it is deliberately asked to solve it in order of n time complexity. This can be achieved using the two pointers. We will see about the pseudocode. First load all the characters of the string T in the hash table name window, where the characters denote the key and the value denotes the character occurrence and we will count the number of entries in the hash table. First point the left and right pointers to the 0th index position in the string S. Yes. Get the character value from the right pointer index position and add it to the new hash table named minimum window. Check whether all the characters and their count in the window hash table are matching with the minimum window hash table. If there is no match then increment the right index value till all the characters and the count in the window hash table are matching with the minimum window hash table. If there is match then note this substring and now remove the left index position value from this substring and increment the left index and check whether the hash table still matches. If it is still matches then note this substring. If it is not matching now then increment the right index position value and add it to the hash table minimum window and continue the above step again till the right index is less than the string length. We will see this with the example. Now consider we have a string t is abc. Load it to the hash table window. Now the window hash table contains three entries a, b, c with each count as one. Now assign the left and right index position to the zeroth index in the string s. Get the right index value which is A and add it to the hash table. Minimum window. Check whether this hash table contains all the characters in the window hash table. It is not. So increment the right index. We got the value as B. Now add this value B and its count in the minimum window hash table. Still it is not matching. So increment the right index. We got B. And we add the character B again and increment its value. So A is 1 and B is 2. Now again increment the right index value. Now it is A. Now increment the A's count to 2 and B's count to 2. Still the minimum window hash table is not matching with the window hash table. Now increment the right index value. We got A again. Now also the minimum window hash table is not matching with the window hash table. Now mark the count of A as 3 in the minimum window hash table. Now increment the right index value. We got C. Now we got A count as 3 and B count as 2 and C count as 1 which is matching with the window hash table. Now in this substring we will take the left index value and remove this value from the minimum window hash table. First left index value is A. We will remove it from the minimum window and we will see both the hash table are still matching. Now increment the left index which is pointing to B. Remove this value B. Now we have A as 2 and B as 1 and C as 1 in the minimum window which is matching with the window hash table. Now we will increment the left index which is B. Now remove this B value. Now the B value becomes 0. A is 2 and C is 1. Now this minimum window is not matching with the window hash table. So increment the right index position value. We got D. Now add this new entry D and mark the count as 1. 
and now check whether the minimum window hash table is matching with the window hash table now it is not matching so we will increment the right index value we got p now it is matching now the a value is 2 b value is 1 and c value is 1 which is matching with the window hash table now take the value in the left index which is a and decrement that value in the minimum window increment the left index value now we have a as 1 b as 1 and c as 1 still it is matches and the substring length is 4 which is less than the previously found substring so we will take this as new left index and and the r as the new right index and the substring length is 4 now remove the value present in the left index which is a now the minimum window hash table becomes a0 b1 and c1 which is not matching with the window hash table and then increment the right index now we got c as 2 and b as 1 and a as 0 which is not matching with the window hash table so increment the right index and retrieve the value a now we got a as 1 b as 1 and c as 2 now get the value in the left index which is c and remove this value from the minimum window hash table we got a as 1 b as 1 and c as 1 which is matching with the window hash table now remove the value in the left index which is d now a as 1 b as 1 and c as 1 and the new substring is of length 3 now this is less than the previously found substring so mark this new left index and new right index now we got the substring as bca get the left index value which is b and remove this from the minimum window hash table we got a as 1 b as 0 and c as 1 which is not matching with the window hash table now increment the right index value and we will get the value b and add it to the minimum window hash table now we got a as 1 b as 1 and c as 1 and which is matching with the window hash table which is of length 3 and it is equal to the previously found substring so we no need to update this left index and right index by this way we will get the minimum window substring in the order of n time complexity we will see a java code for this algorithm first we will declare a hash map to store the t string iterate over the characters in the t string get the current index position and load it to the window hash table here the key is the character value and value is the character count if the character is already present get the value if not return and increment it with 1 once we loaded the window hash table get the record count the record count is the number of entries present in the windows hash table now create a result array with the three values here the index 0 refers to the string length and first we will mark it as minus 1 and the left and right index we will mark it as 0 the current left index is 0 and the current right index is 0 and the expected is the minimum window hash table and expected is 0 and we will create a hash table for minimum window and if the right index is less than the string length then enter into this loop get the value present in the right index add it to the minimum window hash table and if the character is present in the window hash table then check whether the count is matching if the count is matching then increment the expected value by 1 if the left index is less than the right index and all the characters and the count in the window hash table matches with the minimum window hash table then take note of this substring now update the substring length on the left index and the right index now remove the left character from the substring and decrement the index value in the minimum window hash table by 1 if the minimum window hash table does not contain all the characters and the count after removal then decrement the expected counter here we need to use the dot int value function to avoid the caching issue during auto unboxing this is very important when we are dealing with a larger value move the left index one step to the right in the outer loop move the right index one step right at the end return if there is no result that means if the, the result array 0th index value contains the value minus 1 then return null if not return the substring starting from the left index to the right index here the right index is not included so we need to increment the value 1 with the right index so the time complexity of this problem is order of n
Thanks for watching this video. For more technical videos, subscribe to this channel.